Hello YouTube, hello YTPC, full smoking bar here, making another video. I obviously tend to make videos about things regarding questions that new pipe smokers ask, and today we're going to be talking about breaking in a new pipe. So, what I've got sitting here is an unsmoked pipe. I've had this pipe for quite a while, but I am going to probably start smoking it, so I want to go over what I would do, you know, to make this where I can smoke it. All right, but before we talk about the stuff I do, I want to get some kind of science-y stuff out of the way first. Um, Briar has a remarkable property of being able to absorb and dissipate heat to some degree or another. But that capacity can be exceeded. So, what we're gonna do is we're going to use this piece of bamboo as a crash test dummy. Now, believe it or not, bamboo has very similar behavioral properties to corncob pipes and even briar to some extent. And the reason I know that is because I have made pipes out of it. And this has a liner in it. But I have made some of these and I've smoked them and they behave very similar. Um, wanna give a shout out to my friend Cane Rod Piper. He was kind of the inspiration for it. I thought that Cane Rod Piper should have the Cane Rod Pipe. And if you don't know who that is, check him out on YouTube. He's got a bunch of videos, and he also has a Facebook page and a website. He does pipe restoration and does live streams and all kinds of stuff, so go check him out. Anyway, we're going to use this piece of bamboo, and I'm going to demonstrate something. All right. I'm going to start hitting this with a propane torch. Now, it is putting up with it, see? Now, it will start to discolor like that. But it's still putting up with the heat, okay? Still putting up with it. But eventually, if I keep hitting this, there it goes, it burns, okay? Your pipe can do a similar thing. And what I mean by that is you will see many pipes where there is charring around the rim here. Now, if you load your bowl really full, when you light it, the tobacco will expand and it will heat this rim up. And it may or may not hurt it, but if you do that too many times, eventually you exceed the capacity of this briar to take and dissipate heat so that when you do put a flame to it, then you start getting charring, okay? So, anywho. Now that that sciency stuff is out of the way, the, the thing of it is, is this right here can happen inside the bowl of the pipe, okay? All right, now, when you look at pipes, they're going to behave differently, okay? Like this one is really thick up by the top, but if you look this way, it's very thin down here. So it can get hot right here, okay? This bowl is thick at the bottom and thin at the top, so it can get really hot up here, okay? Now then, to break in a pipe, there are many, many ways of doing it. A lot of people say things like, well, you know, put a fourth of a bowl full and smoke that half a dozen or a dozen times and then fill it up halfway and smoke it half a dozen to a dozen times and three quarters and then finally full and you can do that and it works perfectly fine. Other people say, hey, you know, just fill it up and smoke it and you can do that too. But what you wanna do either way and this is primarily for new pipe smokers, okay? People that have smoked a long time already know most of this stuff. Is you wanna hold the pipe while you smoke it and feel of it. 
and feel around on it because it can get hot spots, okay? But you feel around and you smoke and you feel and you smoke. And if it gets hot, just set it down, let it go out, let it cool off, give it, you know, five or ten minutes or whatever, and then relight it and resume. Eventually, you won't have to do that anymore because you will build up carbon cake inside here. And when you build up that carbon cake, it will last an awful lot longer and it will be less likely to burning out and you'll get a cooler smoke and all that stuff. So that's the whole purpose with either partially loading bowls or you know that sort of thing is you're trying to build cake deep in there first and work your way up because oftentimes the heel down here will not get as much protection. But either way it doesn't matter, you know. There's again there's no wrong way and I say that in a lot of videos. You just want to smoke slowly and coolly and feel the pipe a lot while you're smoking and then eventually it will build up a cake layer and whether you do that in partial bowls or just fill it up and smoke it it doesn't matter i've done it both ways and both have good results next thing do you treat this with anything before smoking it well you can or you don't have to. You can just put tobacco straight in this thing and start smoking it. Briar, again, has a very amazing way of absorbing and dissipating heat to an extent. Anyway, can you coat this with something? Absolutely. I have done it both ways, and at the end of the, uh, of the day, you wind up with the same result eventually, and that is a carbon cake buildup in here. I have gotten into the habit of putting some sort of a coating in here just because I think that it does speed up the cake building process a little bit. So, what do I do to do that? Well, there's a bunch of different stuff. I've, you know, my local tobacconist likes Cairo syrup mixed with water. Um, you know, people use agave nectar, they use honey. I've heard of grape jelly even. This is what I do. And again, this isn't the way to do it. There's many ways of doing it. This is what I do. I take and I put a little bit of honey in this thing. And it doesn't take a lot. That's probably way too much, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, next thing, whiskey. I like whiskey because in my opinion, honey and syrups, you know, maple syrup, whatever, is too thick. So whiskey has some natural sugars in it too, and it will thin this down. So I'll just pour a little whiskey in there. And then we'll take our little handy dandy stir stick and we'll start giving it a stir. And what I'm looking to do is to just thin this down a little bit. This doesn't, you know, and this isn't rocket science either. Nothing about pipe smoking is rocket science. Okay, nothing about it is rocket science. That is pretty much the consistency I like right there. That's pretty much perfect. You want it just slightly thickened. You don't, I or it doesn't matter. I, I personally don't like it as thin as water, but I don't like it as thick as honey. And honey and bourbon are a great combo. <laughs> and so there we go, this is great. It's all you need. So that makes a nice little mixture there. Now then. Got a paper towel here because I don't want to make a big mess. And then the next thing I do is I take one of these right here, a little pipe cleaner, and I fold it in half like this and make a little, little loop, kind of like that. And then I dip this in here and I get some of it on the pipe cleaner. Get it nice and soaked. Now, it's dripping. I don't need it to really be dripping, okay? I don't need it to be dripping. Okay. So I'm just gonna daub this off a little bit. Now, I'm gonna take the pipe and I'm gonna stick it down in there and I'm just gonna rub this all around and line the inside of the bowl with this. I don't know how well you can see this, but see how that part's dry and then it's getting coated? And I make sure that I get all the surfaces 
coated with that honey bourbon mixture. That looks pretty good to me. And you can stick a pipe cleaner through there if you don't want it getting into the shank, but I don't think there's enough in there to really matter. As a matter of fact, I can see it and it's dry. So anyway, and then I'm just gonna wipe this rim off a little bit because I got a little bit on the rim. But that's it, this is ready to be packed and smoked in just a little bit. I'm gonna let it sit and dry just a little bit, but that right there is all you gotta do. Now, you don't have to do this. You can totally skip that step, like I said, but you can do it if you want. There's no wrong way. Um, so, just to kind of briefly go over, Briar has a way of tolerating heat to a point before it burns. And if you start it burning like that, you can wind up with a burnout eventually, okay? The shape of the pipe matters. Most of the time, bowls are parallel as they go down in there, but the outsides are not. So you'll have thin parts and you'll have thick parts. Like if you look at uh, this freehand pipe right here, this is really thick in here too, no problem there. This is really thin, so the sides of this can get really hot. So I want to be feeling for that while I smoke it, okay? And again, this one here, you know, this is a fairly narrow, fairly deep bowl, which a lot of people like to smoke Virginias in that. But right here, it's thin, and Virginias smoke hot, so this can get so hot you can't touch it, and then you just want to leave it alone for a little while, okay? And that's all there is to it, you know, no big deal. Um, when it comes to bowl packing, I recommend you don't pack it all the way to the top because it expands as you light it and it will char the rim because you're adding more and more heat to it until it eventually chars like this right here. This was an estate pipe and it was already charred right there when I got it and I just left it alone. But anyway, that's it. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. And I hope that this was helpful to some of you guys. And like, comment, subscribe if you want. Or don't if you don't want. Dislike it if you want. I really don't care. And I hope everybody has a pleasant weekend. And happy smokes. And take care of yourself and all that stuff.